Hi, I'm Jennifer, I'm an Identity One National Educator, and today I am playing with our new volumizing spray. And I am going through very liberally layering through the roots on beautiful Tiffany's hair. I want to create kind of that triangle effect that we're seeing a lot on spring runways and in fashion in general, where I'm seeing a lot more width on the sides, um, a little bit of volume on the top. So I'm going to carry it mostly through the roots, down the shaft, and then actually incorporate a little more soft body into it as well. I'm hoping to bring about a little bit of texture, a little bit of wave. Um, Light rock and roll as opposed to super, super pretty. One of my favorite things to do with soft body, which I'm going to be using on Tiffany's hair to get a little bit more width. I think with the volumizing spray and the soft body together, that's a great marriage to get some, some of that triangle effect I was talking about. But what I've really been enjoying is being able to kind of pump the soft body directly on the hair and working it through, kind of walking up to the roots and meeting the volumizing spray. And I do that in layers. Some I go through, I do it really small pumps. Other times I go through, I use a lot. I think because of the volumizing spray in there, we don't need to go too crazy with it. But just enough to really kind of pack it into the hair shop a little bit. This will create definitely a little more um, soft body shine and give us a little more shape. So I am starting to really love Tiffany's texture that I'm getting here, and I feel like just when going through and hand drying it, I'm starting to build that shape out. So now I want to enhance it by adding some curl and some wave to it. So I'm going to part it off and take sections using our Identity One Medium Bolt Hairspray first and just lightly misting that through the layer or this through the section. comb my fingers through using medium hairspray. It's such a workable spray that you don't have to take a brush to kind of comb that hairspray through. So I just take my fingers and I want something just really loose and, and perfect, a little bit deconstructed. And I definitely want the ends free. So that I'll be able to kind of go in and stretch that out a little bit. Because again, I want to create a little bit more wave and maybe even more texture than I do actual romantic curl. So even though it can start here, I start to kind of find a little bit of the frizz and stretch that out a little bit so it doesn't end up looking like too prong. I think holding the can away as you're spraying is great if you don't want a really heavy coating of spray on there. You can hold it more at a distance and then just put more of a fine mist. It'll still work, it'll still um, give some hold but it definitely will not leave it too crunchy. And when I do it, I just take my curl and shake it out at the end. So as I'm wrapping it around, holding it on there for just a few minutes. And then I unwind it. I just want to shake the ends out a little bit. 
so I can keep that width happening and I'm building up that shape as I go up her head a little bit more. So you can see that I went through and I really loosely curled Tiffany's hair, completely wanting to stay with the idea of making it imperfect. I think that's something that's really important when you are curling your hair, especially when you're trying to build something out or you want to create just enough texture, you don't always need to make it perfectly curly. Um, I went through and wrapped it around the iron like you saw earlier and I did that all over. And I think the beauty of this sometimes is that some pieces are curlier than the other and I think that that um, actually gives it that soft, sexy imperfection that, that is great to look for. I think that what is great is to be able to play with this a little bit. So if you wanted to change it up and you didn't want to have it down all the time, I think what is so fun is to be able to have enough texture in there and using the right products that you're able to change the style by maybe just pulling a few pieces back that you don't like and using a couple of bobby pins. So I literally have two bobby pins here and I'm just going to take pieces away out of Tiffany's face here. And I'm going to just pull it loosely back to maybe give her a little bit more of a romantic look. And because we built up so much texture, I'm able to just stab that bobby pin right in the side there and hide it pretty easily. And then same thing on this side. I am going through and taking this section. It's not completely perfect and even, which I like. And I think that's something that we really need to focus on is that it doesn't have to be perfect even on each side. You can have um, you know, a little more hair pulled back on this side and maybe not as much on this side. And regardless, it's like two bobby pins and now she maybe has something of more of a bohemian wedding look to her.